Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm here at Search Engine Strategies in London with Adam Lasnick from Google. And uh, today, Adam, uh, we're talking a little bit about geotargeting, but not the kind that people usually think of. They think of pay-per-click and geotargeting. But Google is offering some, some help for people that have websites in several languages, like many people in Europe here do. So uh, what kind of geotargeting can you do there to help uh, get better rankings, that oh, sort of yeah. thing? I think uh, you raised a, a good distinction that this is definitely on the search side of things and not ads, although uh, Google lets you do geotargeting on both sections. So what the concerns that have come up at this conference and before deal with websites or companies that have particular sections of their site that are targeted for different countries. So they might have one section that has like a slash DE, and that's meant for their German users. A dot DE? Oh no, in this case it would a actually be a slash, because okay. maybe they don't even have a dot DE. Okay. Now we do, that's a great option if you can have that, to have it separated into the, to what we call TLDs, like a dot DE, a, a top dot... Top level domain. Top level domain, yeah, exactly, or a dot FR, a dot CO, dot UK. Those are a great way to say this content is English or French or German, okay. but there are some companies where, for whatever reason, they have a ton of content and they've actually put it as subdirectories. So they have theircompany.com slash German or slash French. Mm -hmm. and so the issue here really is how can we tell the search engine what language content this is. I mean, that's really um, what we're getting at. It's actually it? a combination both of language and also market. So, for instance, if you have a particular chain of supermarkets, but that particular brand is only in Germany, okay. you want to reach the folks that are in Germany. Mm -hmm. So, with you, you raised the interesting point about language, and for that, we actually do a pretty good job detecting if the page is in German, we know, we know that that's going to be the language. The question then becomes the region targeting. I see. So one of the ways, uh, we actually have a couple of different ways that people can help us show their pages to the best market. One of the methods is using our geotargeting tool within our uh, webmaster tools. And that's a free service they can sign up for. Uh, it's at uh, google.com slash webmasters. And they go to the section that is uh, for geotargeting and they say, okay, this, these particular sections are for this country, and, and okay. these particular sections are for a different country. And you can make an unlimited number, of, as huge a list as you want. And like all the things we have with our tools, we don't guarantee instant results from this, mm -hmm. but we do take it as a strong hint. Okay. Because of course, we want to show the stuff that's most, the pages that are most appropriate for the market, just like the companies do. Now, when you're bringing the right people to the right part of the website, mm -hmm. or the right website, depending on how they decide to yeah. set it up, are you doing geotargeting on their IP address on what to show them? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great question, too, because people ask, well, how do you know where to deliver uh, our, our pages? And so uh, I, we had just talked about TLD, or the top-level domains. That gives us a hint as well. So, for instance, if someone searches for universities, and they do it from google.se, then, or from Sweden specifically, we're going to look at that IP and say, oh, that's a Swedish IP. I bet they want to see Swedish universities. So we're more likely to show Swedish universities okay. in that way. So Google has a passion for relevance, Absolutely. which has helped all of us, I think. And so this is one way you do it by uh, yeah. uh, what area they're from, looking at that as well as other clues. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what, what are the various ways, if I have several languages or several regions I'm trying to reach, mm -hmm. What are some of the ways to separate it? We've talked about them. Let's just go over them briefly. Sure. Well, there are really three key ways that you can separate that out on your site. The one we talked about first was the TLDs, and that would involve taking yoursite.de and putting the German content there, or yoursite.no and putting the Norwegian content. Um, the second way was what we were talking about, which was with subdirectories. Okay. So you'd have one big domain with lots and lots of pages, or, or mm -hmm. even just a handful of pages. Number doesn't matter. And you would separate it out by subdirectory. So you would have like Norway, some, your site.com slash Norway, and then you would have page.html uh, or PHP or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the third way, which we haven't touched upon yet, is actual subdomains. And uh, we've okay. seen a lot of people like using that, which would be like germany.yoursite.com. Oh, okay, all right. 
And for some people, if they just want to focus everything on one server, they find that to be a particularly easy method of separating out their content. And the great thing is they can also give us a hint about that in the same way. We may not just telling from the word Germany, we may not know just from that that it's content meant for the, meant for the German users. But if they go into our webmaster tools and say, okay, see italian.mysite.com, please uh, give priority on those pages to the Italian users, people that are searching from Italy. Well, let me ask you one kind of search engine optimization question. Sure. Sometimes it's an advantage to put everything under one domain mm -hmm. because that way all the links to that domain have a, a, a way of kind of raising the whole site in, in its popularity. Mm -hmm. Is it an advantage to have all these things under one .com rather than .fr, .fr? Uh, UK. Yeah, that's an interesting question too, and and this is one of those things where we say your mileage may vary. It really <laughs> matters on the case, but I can give a, a couple quick rules of thumb. If you actually have content that is sufficiently distinct, you have uh, a different set of markets in Germany than you have in France, or you have different instructions, you have different warranty addresses, and so on. Mm -hmm. That content really merits, uh, in many cases, different sites because it's in different language and has different content. Having a different TLD there, the .de, the .no, mm -hmm. all of that combined is going to help us show the more appropriate results to your users. Now, if you have an international company where you saw the same thing everywhere, or you have an information site okay. that's about a hobby and it's the same information everywhere, mm -hmm. then I think it actually may be to your advantage to put as much of that great content into one domain because we will then put more of that trust into that domain. Mm -hmm. More people will link to that domain, so it will amass more page rank. And oftentimes it's just easier than managing a whole lot of different domains. You sound like a consultant. It all depends. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, thank you, Adam, for sure. taking time to share with us. Uh, t tell me what you do, Adam, and uh, about your company. Yeah, sure. Well, I work on the search side of Google. You have my, a great title. What's your oh, title? Oh, yeah. My, my title is Search Evangelist, which <laughs> in some ways is cool because it signifies that I go out to, to conferences like this one and then even to smaller venues like arts and crafts fairs, to schools and so on, where I can help people understand about best practices both for their users and for Google. But I think what's particularly interesting that my title doesn't capture is that I'm also here to listen to the webmasters and to site owners mm -hmm. everywhere and say, hey, what do you want to know more about? Let me take that, talk mm -hmm. to the people that run our forum, run our documentation, and let's get that information to you in a better way to help mm -hmm. you. So it's really, I'm sort of part of that two-way street. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can guess, it's a, it's a heck of a fun job. Well, I appreciate that, Adam. Thanks for sharing with us. This is Ralph Wilson at Search Engine Strategies in London with Web Marketing Today.